Guys, it is happening. Yesterday, Israel began a ground operation in Lebanon. And guys, what sensational times we live in. During the weekend, Israel has eliminated the key leader of Hezbollah, Nasrallah. Now, this was a huge explosion that shook the southern part of Beirut. As you can see on this picture and on the video, this created a huge hole in the ground where the headquarters of Hezbollah was located. To achieve such a goal, you would need special missiles called bunker busters that go into the ground and explode deep under the ground. Of course, we need to understand this in the context of what happened before. So thousands of pagers and walkie-talkies have exploded, injuring thousands of Hezbollah militants. Additionally, in recent weeks, we have seen Israeli planes make precision strikes on Hezbollah headquarters, destroying the facilities and killing key leadership. And guys, just look at this. I mean, this is the pyramid of Hezbollah and the major leaders of Hezbollah are now eliminated, which means a lot of chaos within Lebanon, a lot of chaos within the southern part of Lebanon that Hezbollah controlled. And of course, if we compare it to Gaza, this is a much bigger territory from where the Hezbollah attacks Israel. Hezbollah, which is a terrorist organization and a proxy of Iran, has a much larger army than most of the countries, and the missiles that come from Hezbollah are a constant threat to Israel, and the Iron Dome has to work 24-7 over time. Because of a constant threat of those rockets and the beginning of a ground operation in Lebanon, a lot of the population in the northern part of Israel had to be relocated. Alarms telling people to hide go off all the time in Israel, telling people to hide, to bunkers, find shelter. This is the reality in Israel right now. Just look at this map. This shows you just the area of Tel Aviv, Yafo, where lots of of warnings were issued that people should hide because missiles are coming. And of course, Israel can eliminate a lot of the threat from the air, which Israel is currently doing and will do, but this will not solve the problem entirely because some facilities cannot be reached from air. And so it was inevitable that Israel will begin a ground operation into Lebanon. The question was, however, when Israel will do it. Well, Israel did it last night. And the reason why they did it last night is quite interesting. So the reason the operation was a bit rushed is because of a leak that happened yesterday night. As reported by the Times of Israel, there was a leak from the United States that Israel is about to begin a ground operation into Lebanon. And that was something that Israel had to consider. Now, when this information was out, you had to decide, do we move in now or wait? Israel entered. So, as Gaza is becoming more and more secured by the Israeli army, the majority of the territory is secured. Of course, Israel is still looking for the hostages and will not stop until they will be released. But uh, the leadership in Gaza have been eliminated, most of their military has been destroyed, now it is time for phase two of this conflict. Because it was never about Gaza alone, it was about a bigger, bigger war. And of course, when the attack on Israel happened on October 7th, it was a big shock for Israel that Lebanon did not attack at the same time. Actually, the Israeli army moved most of its army to the northern part of Israel when that attack happened because they were expecting another attack coming from Hezbollah. And if we look even broader, it's not a war against Gaza, it's not a war against Lebanon, it's not a war against Hezbollah, it's really a war against Iran. Because it is Iran that is sponsoring all the terror groups that are fighting with Israel, including, of course, Hezbollah, which, as I said, has an army as big as some countries. And the Houthis, of course, are sponsored by Iran, and they have also fired rockets towards Israel. 
those rockets had to be taken down. And just to give you an understanding of the distances we are talking about, from Jerusalem to Tehran is over 900 miles or over 1,500 kilometers. And from Jerusalem to Yemen, it's even more. It's over 1,200 miles or almost 2,000 kilometers. Of course, Israel will not just wait and see when the Houthis will stop firing those rockets. Israel did strike the Houthis also in recent days, destroying a lot of refineries, power plants, sending back them to basically Stone Age. And President Benjamin Netanyahu, in his address to the people of Iran, made it quite clear that there is nowhere where the people that are against Israel, the criminals that attack Israel, can hide. Just listen to his words. Every speech is about defending Lebanon, defending Gaza. Yet every day, that regime plunges our region deeper into darkness and deeper into war. Every day, their puppets are eliminated. Ask Muhammad Def. Ask Nasrallah. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach. There is nowhere we will not go to protect our people and protect our country. With every passing moment, the regime is bringing you, the noble Persian people, closer to the abyss. And guess what? Right now you can see images coming from the Israeli army within Lebanon. Here you can see a storage of ammunition, weapons, explosives, all secured by the Israeli army. and you know, Iran is already reacting to that. This is just a message, uh, news from just a few minutes ago. The US has announced that it is anticipating that soon Iran will launch ballistic missiles towards Israel. So this is happening right now. So guys, please pray for the safety of Israel, its citizens. Please pray for the soldiers that are actively eliminating terrorists, are actively eliminating Hezbollah. Please, this is a very important time in history. We don't know what's going to happen next. So we need your support. We need your prayers. This is a very critical time we are living in. Be sure to subscribe to my social media. So Telegram, X, Instagram, Facebook pages. Make sure to sign up to my letters of new videos coming out. If you want to stay updated, this is the best way to do it so that you don't miss any news from Israel. I will leave links to all those pages in the description of this video. Thank you so much for your attention. Shalom.